Hello, and welcome to Ruby Nation's Kids Clubhouse, a place where we learn about God's love and grow in God's grace. My name is Pastor Jeremiah Green, and I'll be a host for today, and I'm going to take you on an exciting adventure. Today, our topic looks at the Lord's Prayer. It's called God's Name. We'll learn about how important it is to respect God's name and to use it wisely. But first, let's have prayer. God, our Father, you are our God and we are your children. Bless us as we learn today's lesson. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, before we begin our story, we want to start off by having some fun. So let's go to our game. All right, boys and girls, we are at the part of the show where we get to play a game. And I have one of my friends here with me. Everybody say hi to Lyric. Hi, Lyric. Listen, Lyric is nine years old and she has come to play. Are you ready, Lyric? Yes. Awesome, let's get started. Now, here are the rules. I'm gonna ask you if you want me to spin hard, soft, or medium, and you get to tell me whatever you want. But if it lands here, you actually win $10. If it lands here, you have to write a card to somebody who really needs to know you care. If it lands here, you win $1. If it lands here, you win $25. If it lands here, you have to say a Bible verse right now. And if it lands here, you need to give a hug to someone. And the last one, if it lands here, you need to call someone this week and pray for them if they're hurting or sick. Do you understand? Do you have that? Yes. Awesome, are you ready? Yes. All right, let's begin. Do you want it hard, soft, or in the middle? Hard. Let's go hard. One, two, three, go. Ah, ready or not, here it comes. It's gonna stop wherever it stops. That's where it's going. Give a hug. So you have to give a hug to someone who really needs a hug. Now, this is what we do on this show. We give two chances. Do you want a second chance or you're done? You're good. Second chance. Second chance, baby. Second chance. All right, tell me what you want. Do you want a hard spin, soft spin, or in the middle? In the middle. In the middle. Let's go. And. Write a card. Whatever God has for you to do, he has chosen you to be his missionary. I'm so glad that you have chosen to be a part of our show. All right, boys and girls, say goodbye to Lyric. Lyric, thank you so much for being with us and look forward to seeing you next time. Let's move to our next part of our show. All right, boys and girls, it's time for our story. And today I'm here with, my name's Ralph. Ralph, you beat me this time, didn't you? Yeah, cause last time you beat me. Well, you sure did go fast this time. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, okay, well, today Ralph and I are gonna tell a story. And our story is about Jesus teaching his disciples to pray. You mean they didn't know how to pray? Well, they did know how to pray, but they didn't know how to pray like Jesus taught them how to pray. Huh? So Jesus taught them a different prayer? Well, he didn't really teach them a different prayer. He just taught them certain things that they could say when they pray. Like what? That's why we're here. We're here to talk about the first word that he taught them in their prayer. It is hallowed. Hallowed? Hallowed. Hallowed? What does that mean? Well, hallowed means holy. Jesus said, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed or holy is your name. Oh, that makes sense. His name is holy. It definitely is. As a matter of fact, we sing about his name all the time. Holy, holy, holy. Ralph, I didn't know you could sing. Yeah, I sing in the children's choir. Well, anyway, yes, his name is holy. And we sing about his holy name. 
But the reason why I'm telling you about this word today is because a lot of Christians, they forget that the name of God is holy. Hmm? They do. They forget that the name of God is holy and they use God's name any way they want. Oh, that's right. Like I heard this one kid say, no, don't say the word. What? Don't say the word. Well, how are the kids going to know what the word they're not supposed to say is? Well, I guess their parents are going to have to teach them. But we're talking about not using the Lord's name in vain, so we shouldn't use the word. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, well anyway, what kids should always remember is God even put this commandment in one of the Ten Commandments. He said, I know this one, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. The Lord will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain. That's it. The Bible is clear. God will not hold a person guiltless if they take his name in vain. You know why? Why? Because when we forget to respect God's name, we forget to respect God. Oh, and God wants us to respect him, right? Absolutely. We should always respect God, and therefore, we respect his name. Oh, I never knew that. Well, today you do, and you also know we should always respect his name. All right, kids, that's our story for today. I hope you liked it, and I hope you respect the Lord's name. Hallowed. Hallowed. All right, boys and girls, that was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed the story. Right now, though, I have another pastor friend that I want to introduce you to. Her name is Pastor Lerone Carson. She's the children and families pastor at Spencerville, the Spencerville Seventh-day Adventist Church. Everybody say hi to Pastor Lerone. <laughs> now, Pastor Lerone has been my friend, and she's been at this church for four years. Pastor Lerone, are you ready to play our game? I'm ready. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you three chances. And on the fourth chance, you get to guess the word. Now, if you can guess the word by the fourth chance, you win $75. And that's the money. But around your second chance, if you have not guessed the word, I'm going to give you one clue. And the, the fourth chance, I may give you one clue after you have guessed your last letter. So are you ready to get started? I sure am. Awesome. So the first word has eight letters in it. And in those eight letters, you get four chances. So what's your first letter that you're going to get? Oh, I'm going to go with uh, the letter E. I like that letter. E, awesome, there is one E. It is the seventh letter in the word. Great job, great job, that's a really good start. Now, let's go again, what's your second letter? Um, I, I, I think I'm gonna go with another vowel. Um, how about uh, A? A, I like it, okay. There is one A, it is the second letter in the word. Oh, you are going on fire. Let's go. All right, um, hmm. I, how about the, the letter R? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, that's one guess. <laughs> there are no R's in this word. All right, do you have another letter? Uh, how about, uh, how about, um, let's go with S. Ah, there are <laughs> no S's. Okay, that's your second clue, uh, second word letter that you did not have. So I'm gonna give you a clue. Okay. It is something to describe God. Oh, something to describe God, huh? Yes. 
Ah. Huh. Okay. So let's go. Let do. Give me another letter. Your third try. Oh boy. All right. Um, I'm feeling the pressure here. Um, yes, yes, pressure. <laughs> Um, how about the letter N? Uh, there are no N's. There are no N's. Come on, Pastor. You can do it. You can do it. Um, I, I feel like I'm, I'm guessing all the, uh, the, the Wheel of Fortune letters. How about L? Did you say an L? Yes. You got two L's. That is a great guess. There is an L in the third letter and an L in the fourth letter. Great job. All right. All right. You want to guess another letter? Oh, boy. And this is something that describes God. Yes. Yes. Oh, boy. I, I have a feeling it's going to be very obvious once uh, once you reveal this. Um, how about... Um, Let's see. Are there any um, are there any more vowels? Are I? No eyes, no uh, eyes, and that is your fourth letter. So I'm going to give you one more clue, and um, hopefully it'll it'll jar something. Um, the next clue is it not just describe God, but it describes His name. Describes his name. Um, I I want to say I know it's not Hallelujah because that's too long of a word, but I'm I'm stuck on those um, the A and the L's. Okay, give me one word. We gotta do one word. Um. Oh boy, I am I am all all out of words. But okay, all right. <laughs> I hope you guys guessed it, boys and girls. I have to give the answer. The word is hallowed. Oh, oh hallowed be thy name. I do have a small gift for you. Don't worry, but it's not $75. Thank you for being a part of our show. I hope you enjoyed that time with Pastor Laron. She's a good friend. All right, kids, it's time for us to wrap up. Today, we learned about hallowed be God's name, that God's name is respected and revered, and we should be careful when we use his name. Well, now it's time for us to go, but I'm looking forward to hearing from you if you have a prayer request or you want to be a part of today's show. Remember, contact me on the email below, and I will get back with you. Right now, let's pray together. God, your name is holy. Your name is special. May we be careful when we use your name. We love you so much and we know you loved us first. Bless the children and all those who watch today's program to always remember your prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, kids, bye.